Thank you very much. As Heather just mentioned, we got our start singing together with the Fools productions of the late 1970s and early 80s. And we went on to sing together for about 25 years in various venues, mostly local. We are Kate Wright, high voice, quilt maker, and owner of Songbird Quilts, a long arm quilting business. Jean Shaw, low voice, retired lifelong educator and founding board member of the school's foundation. I am Shirley Reed, um, the middle voice, pie maker, and um, <laughs> board member, uh, board president of the Bayview Farmers Market. Collectively, we have been known as the Carolina Parrots. Many, <laughs> I really didn't pause for, uh, I mean, I didn't pause for applause. I paused to get my head together. Um, we have often been asked how we came by our name, and I'm going to let Kate tell that story. Sure. We were at a very early Fool's rehearsal in someone's home, and I saw an Audubon print on the wall of a very colorful and exotic bird, and that was the Carolina Parrot. And I said, that's it. That's our name. <laughs> and I didn't ask anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> We have been pretty agreeable throughout our <laughs> career. <laughs> yeah, except for that one. No. Yeah. We have always been an a cappella group, which means singing without accompaniment. And with the exception of singing with Dick Tilkin's Generation Gap Big Band at a couple of Harvest Moon Balls. And right here on the stage um, at Wicca with uh, the rural characters. We sang mostly songs from the 1920s through the 1940s, and we have a great affection for Cole Porter and Hoagy Carmichael tunes. The song we're singing for you today was written by a man named Herman Hupfield in 1931, who nobody's ever heard of, but the, it was made famous in 1942 by Sam, the piano player, in the movie Casablanca. We sang this for Dorothy Plouffe's 80th birthday party, and for the Clyde Theater's 50th retrospective celebration. As time goes by, recalling simpler times and universal truths. This day and age we're living in Oh, start over. Was it? oh sorry, <laughs> something happened there. D, right? Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. This day and age we're living in gives cause for apprehension with speed and new invention. I don't know. I don't know. This, the this is kind of the outtake we were going to yeah, do for yeah. you, which was what yeah. rehearsal is like 10 yeah. years later. Yeah. <laughs> This day and age we're living in gives cause for apprehension with speed and new invention and things like third dimension. Yet we get a trifle weary with Mr. Einstein's theory. So we must get down to earth at times, relax, relieve the tension. No matter what the progress or what may yet be proved, the simple facts of life are such they cannot be removed. You must remember this, a kiss is still a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say I love you. On that you can rely. No matter what the future brings as time goes by. Hearts full of passion, jealousy, and hate. 
Woman needs man, and man must have his mate that no one can deny. It's still the same old story, a fight for love and glory, a case of do or die. The world will always welcome.